Makara Sankranti, also known as Makara Sankranti, Sanskrit, Makara Sankranti or Magi, is a festival day in the Hindu calendar, in reference to deity Surya, Sun. It is observed each year in January. It marks the first day of Sun transit into the Makara Capricorn, marking the end of the month with the winter solstice and the start of longer days. Makara Sankranti is one of the few ancient Indian festivals that has been observed according to solar cycles, while most festivals are set by the lunar cycle of the lunisolar Hindu calendar. Being a festival that celebrates the solar cycle, it almost always falls on the same Gregorian date every year, January 14, except in some years when the date shifts by a day for that year. The festivities associated with Makar Sankranti are known by various names such as Magi preceded by Lori by North Indian Hindus and Sikhs, Makara Sankranti Peta Pandaga in Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh, Sukarat in Central India, Ma Bihu by Assamese, and Pongal by Tamils. Makara Sankranti is observed with social festivities such as colorful decorations, rural children going house to house, singing and asking for treats in some areas or pocket money, milas fairs, dances, kite flying, bonfires and feasts. The Maga Mela, according to Diana L. Eck, professor at Harvard University specializing in Indology, is mentioned in the Hindu epic, the Mahabharata, thus placing this festival to be around 5,000 years old. Many go to sacred rivers or lakes and bathe with thanksgiving to the sun. Every 12 years, the Hindus observe Makar Sankranti with one of the world's largest mass pilgrimage, with an estimated 40 to 100 million people attending the event. At this event, they say a prayer to the sun and bathe at the Prayaga confluence of the river Ganga and river Yamuna at the Kumbha Mela, a tradition attributed to Adi Shankaracharya. Date Makara Sankranti is set by the solar cycle of the Hindu lunisolar calendar, and is observed on a day which usually falls on 14 January of Gregorian calendar, but sometimes 15 January. It signifies the arrival of longer days. Makar Sankranti falls in the Hindu calendar solar month of Makara, and lunar month of Magha. The festival is also called Magha Sankranti or Magha festival in parts of India. It marks the end of the month with winter solstice for India and the longest night of the year, a month that is called Pasha in lunar calendar and Danu in the solar calendar in the Vikrami system. The festival celebrates the first month with consistently longer days. There are two different systems to calculate the Makara Sankranti date, Nirayana, without adjusting for precession of equinoxes, sidereal, and Sayana, with adjustment, tropical. The January 14 date is based on the Nirayana system, while the Sayana system typically computes to about December 23, for most Siddhanta texts for Hindu calendars. Significance The festival is dedicated to the Hindu sun god, Surya. This significance of Surya is traceable to the Vedic texts, particularly the Gayatri Mantra, a sacred hymn of Hinduism found in its scripture named the Rigveda. The festival also marks the beginning of a six months auspicious period for Hindus known as Uttarayana period. Makara Sankranti is regarded as important for spiritual practices, and accordingly, people take a holy dip in rivers, especially Ganga, Yamuna, Godavari, Krishna, and Kaveri. The bathing is believed to result in merit or absolution of past sins. They also pray to the sun and thank for their successes and prosperity. A shared cultural practice is found amongst Hindus of various parts of India is making sticky, bound sweets particularly from sesame till, and a sugar base such as jaggery gud, gur. This type of sweet is a symbolism for being together in peace and joyfulness, despite the uniqueness and differences between individuals. For most parts of India, this period is a part of early stages of the Ravi crop and agricultural cycle, where crops have been sown and the hard work in the fields is mostly over. The time thus signifies a period of socializing and families enjoying each other's company, taking care of the cattle, and celebrating around bonfires. In Maharashtra, the festival is celebrated by flying kites. Makara Sankranti is an important pan Indian solar festival, known by different names though observed on the same date, sometimes for multiple dates around the Makar Sankranti. It is known as Makara Sankranti in Karnataka, Pongal in Tamil Nadu, Peta Panduga in Andhra Pradesh, Ma Bihu in Assam, Maga Mela in parts of Central and North India, as Makar Sankranti in the West, and by other names. 
Nomenclature and regional names Makara or Makar Sankranti is celebrated in many parts of Indian subcontinent with some regional variations. It is known by different names and celebrated with different customs in different parts of the region. Suji Haba, Makara Sankramana, Makara Sankranti, Karnataka Makara Sankranti, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana Makar Sankranti, Chhattisgarh, Goa, Odisha, Bihar, Jharkhand, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Manipur, Rajasthan, Sikkim, Tripura, Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand, West Bengal and Jammu Thai Pongal, Ujjavar Thirunal, Tamil Nadu Uttarayan, Gujarat Maggi, Haryana, Himachal Pradesh and Punjab Ma Bihu or Bogali Bihu, Assam Shishore Sankrat, Kashmir Valley Kichdi, Uttar Pradesh and Western Bihar Paush Sankranti, West Bengal Tila Sakre, Mithil and other countries to the day is celebrated by Hindus, but under different names and in different ways. Nepal, May Sankranti or Maggi, Kichdi Sankranti Bangladesh, Shakrain, Paush Sankranti Pakistan, Sin, Termori. Regional variations It is celebrated differently across the Indian subcontinent. Many people take a dip in places like Ganga Sagar Prayag and pray to the sun god, Surya. It is celebrated with pomp in southern parts of India as Sankranti in Karnataka, Pongal in Tamil Nadu, and in Punjab as Maggi. Many milas or fairs are held on Makar Sankranti the most famous being the Kumbha Mela, held every 12 years at one of four holy locations, namely Haridwar, Prayag, Allahabad, Ujjain and Nashik. The Magha Mela or Mini Kumbh Mela held annually at Prayag and the Gangasagar Mela held at the head of the Ganges River, where it flows into the Bay of Bengal. Makar Mela in Odisha. Tusu Mela also called as Tusu Purab is celebrated in many parts of Jharkhand and West Bengal. Paush Mela is an annual fair and festival that takes place in Santiniketan, in Burbam district of West Bengal. Andhra Pradesh and Telangana The festival, Sankranti, Makara Sankranti is celebrated for four days in Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. Day 1 Bogi, Bogi Andhra Pradesh, Telangana and Karnataka. Day 2 Makara Sankranti, Makara Sankranti Peta Panduga the main festival day. Day 3 Kanuma, Kanuma Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. Day 4 Mukanuma Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. Bogi Bogi the day preceding Makara Sankranti is called Bogi. This is when people discard old and derelict things and concentrate on new things causing change or transformation. At dawn, people light a bonfire with logs of wood, other solid fuels and wooden furniture that are no longer useful. Makara Sankranti Makara Sankranti The second day is Makara Sankranti. People wear new clothes, pray to God, and make offerings of traditional food to ancestors who have died. They also make beautiful and ornate drawings and patterns on the ground with chalk or flour, called Rangoli or Mugu in Telugu, in front of their homes. These drawings are decorated with flowers, colors and small, hand-pressed piles of cow dung, called Gavema. Gavema. For this festival all families prepare Chakanalu, Nugula Apalu, Gara Palu or Kata Palu or Karama Palu, Matagulu, Jantakalu, Bellam Apalu, Kudamulu, Araselu, Apalu, a sweet made of jaggery and rice flour, Dapalam, a dish made with pumpkin and other vegetables, and make an offering to God. On the third day, Kanuma, Kanuma is celebrated. Kanuma is very intimate to the hearts of farmers because it is the day for praying and showcasing their cattle with honor. Cattle are the symbolic indication of prosperity. On the day after Makara Sankranti, the animal kingdom is remembered and, in particular, cows. Girls feed the animals, birds and fish as a symbol of sharing. Mukanumath fourth day is called Mukanuma, Mukanuma which is popular among the non-vegetarians of the society. 
On this day, farmers offer prayers to the elements like soil, rain, fire for helping the harvest, and the village goddesses with their gifts which sometimes, and these days mainly, include animals. People in Telangana and coastal Andhra do not eat any meat, or fish, during the first three days of the festival and do so only on the day of Mukanuma. Kanuma, Mukanuma and the day following Mukanuma call for celebrations with union of families, friends, relatives. People play with kites and the sky is filled with beautiful kites. Another notable feature of the festival in Telangana and Andhra Pradesh is the Haridasu and Gangiretavalu, who go early in the morning with a colorfully dressed cow. Haridasas sing songs of Lord Vishnu, Hari, hence the name Haridasu, servant of Hari. It is a custom that he should not talk to anyone and only sing songs of Lord Vishnu when he goes to everyone's house. The song Ma Bihu, Maga Bihu also called Bogali Bihu, Bogali Bihu Bihu of eating foods and enjoyment, or Maghar Domahi, Magara Domahi is a harvest festival celebrated in Assam, India, which marks the end of harvesting season in the month of Maga, January to February. It is the Assam celebration of Makar Sankranti, with feasting lasting for a week, the festival is marked by feasts and bonfires. Young people erect makeshift huts, known as meji and bilahar, from bamboo, leaves and thatch, and in bilahar they eat the food prepared for the feast, and then burn the huts the next morning. The celebrations also feature traditional Assamese games such as tekeli bonga pot breaking, and buffalo fighting. Ma Bihu celebrations start on the last day of the previous month, the month of Pu, usually the 29th of Pu and usually the 14th of January, and is the only day of Ma Bihu in modern times. Earlier, the festival would last for the whole month of Ma, and so the name Ma Bihu. The night before is Aruka, 28th of Pu, when people gather around a bonfire, cook dinner, and make merry. During Ma Bihu, people of Assam make cakes of rice with various names such as Shunga Pitha, Til Pitha etc. and some other sweets of coconut called Laru or Laskara. Bihar and Jharkhand In Bihar and Jharkhand, the festival is celebrated on 14-15 January. On 14 January, it is celebrated as Makar Sankranti or Sakrat or Kichdi, in local dialects. As in other parts of country, people take baths in rivers and ponds and feast upon seasonal delicacies as a celebration of good harvest. The delicacies include chura, gur, jaggery, sweets made of till, sesame seeds, such as tilgal, tilwa, mosca, etc., curd, milk and seasonal vegetables. Kite flying festivals are organized, albeit on a small scale. On 15 January, it is celebrated as Makrat, in some parts of the state, when people relish special kichdi, dal rice replete with cauliflower, peas and potatoes. The festival is one of the most important. People start their day by worshipping and putting till, sesame seeds, into fire followed by eating. Dahi chuda. A dish made of beaten rice, chuda or poha, in Hindi, or avalaki, in Kannada, served with a larger serving of dahi, curd, with cooked kohada, red pumpkin, that is prepared specially with sugar and salt, but no water. The meal is generally accompanied by tilkit and lye, ladu made of til, chuda and rice. The festive meal is traditionally made by women in groups. Since the meal is heavy, lunch is generally skipped on the day and the time is, instead, spent on socializing and participating in kite flying festivals. At night a special kichdi is made and served with its four traditional companions. Char yar. Four friends. Choka, roasted vegetable, papad, ghee and achar. Since such a rich kichdi is generally made on this festival, the festival is often colloquially referred to as. Kichdi. Delhi and Haryana Kayastha community which have been building blocks of Delhi today and other neighboring rural communities like Yadavs, Jats which mainly belong to Haryana and Punjab consider Sakrat or Sankranti to be a main festival of the year. Churma of ghee, halwa and kheer are cooked specially in Jats and Yadavs homes on this day. One brother of every married woman visits her home with a gift of some warm clothing for her and her husband's family. It is called Siddha. Women used to give a gift to their in-laws, and this ritual's called Manyana. The recipient will sit in a Haweli, main palace where men sit together and share hookah. 
Women go to Haweli to sing folk songs and give gifts. Goa Known as Sankrant in Goa and like in the rest of the country, people distribute sweets in the form of granules of sugar coated till pulses among family members and friends, with the words, Til Gul Giat, God Uluat, meaning eat sesame and jaggery and sweeten your talk. Twelve day Haldi Kumkum festival begins on Makar Sankranti. Married women celebrate the festival till Ratha Saptami. Married women visit each other's homes where the women apply halad turmeric, and kumkum vermilion, to the foreheads of other women and put flowers in their hair, and offer them household gifts. Newly married women offer five sung hat or small clay pots with black beaded threads tied around them to the deity. These pots are filled with newly harvested food grains and are offered with beetle leaves and areca nut. Its observance takes place on a rather subdued note, unlike major festivals of the region like Ganesh Chaturthi. Gujarat Uttarayan, as Makar Sankranti is called in Gujarati, is a major festival in the state of Gujarat which lasts for two days. The 14th of January is Uttarayan. 15 January is Vasi Uttarayan, stale Uttarayan. Gujarati people keenly await this festival to fly kites, called Patang. Kites for Uttarayan are made of special lightweight paper and bamboo and are mostly rhombus shaped with central spine and a single bow. The string often contains abrasives to cut down other people's kites. In Gujarat, from December through to Makar Sankranti, people start enjoying Uttarayan. Undiu, spicy, baked mix of winter vegetables, and chickies made from till, sesame seeds, peanuts and jaggery, are the special festival recipes savored on this day. The Hindu Sindhi community in western regions of India, that is also found in southeastern parts of Pakistan, celebrate Makar Sankranti as Termori. On this day, parents sending sweet dishes to their daughters, in the major cities of Ahmedabad, Surat, Vadodara, Raikat, and Jamnagar the skies appear filled with thousands upon thousands of kites as people enjoy two full days of Uttarayan on their terraces. When people cut any kites they yell words like Kapo Chhe E Lapet Jaay Jaay For Key Vet For Key and Lapet Lapet in Gujarati. Himachal Pradesh In Shimla district of Himachal Pradesh, Makar Sankranti is known as Magha Saji. Saji is the Pahari word for Sakranti, start of the new month. Hence this day marks the start of the month of Magha. According to Hindu religious texts, on the day of Uttarayani the sun enters the zodiac sign of Makara Capricorn, i.e., from this day onwards the sun becomes Uttarayan, or it starts moving to the north. It is said that from this day, which signals a change of season, the migratory birds start returning to the hills. On Magha Saja people wake up early in the morning and take ceremonial dips and shower in the springs or baolis. In the daytime people visit their neighbors and together enjoy kichdi with ghee and chas and give it in charity at temples. Festival culminates with singing and nadi folk dance. Karnataka This is the suji, suji or harvest festival for farmers of Karnataka. On this auspicious day, girls wear new clothes to visit near and dear ones with a sankranti offering in a plate and exchange the same with other families. This ritual is called Elu Barodu. Here the plate would normally contain Elu. White sesame seeds mixed with fried groundnuts, neatly cut dry coconut and fine cut bella, jaggery. The mixture is called Elu Bella. Elu Bella. The plate contains shaped sugar candy molds, Sakari Achu, Sakari Aku with a piece of sugarcane. There is a saying in Kannada, Elu Bella Thindu Al Mathadi. That translates to, eat the mixture of sesame seeds and jaggery and speak only good. This festival signifies the harvest of the season, since sugarcane is predominant in these parts. Elu bella, elu und, bananas, sugarcane, red berries, haldi and kumkum and small gift items useful in everyday lives are often exchanged among women in Karnataka. 
In some parts of Karnataka, a newly married woman is required to give away bananas for five years to married women Muthida, Sumangali, from the first year of her marriage and increase the number of bananas in multiples of five. There is also a tradition of some households giving away red berries. Yalchi Kai. With the above, in North Karnataka, kite flying with community members is a tradition. Drawing rangoli in groups is another popular event among women during Sankranti. An important ritual is display of cows and bulls in colorful costumes in an open field. Cows are decorated for the occasion and taken on a procession. They are also made to cross a fire. This ritual is common in rural Karnataka and is called Kichu Hayasubada. Kerala Makar Sankranti is celebrated in Kerala at Sabaramala where the Makara Jodi is visible followed by the Makaravilaku celebrations. Uttarakhand In the Kaman region of Uttarakhand, Makar Sankranti is celebrated with great gusto. The Uttarayani fair is held in the month of January every year in Bageshwar the religious ritual of the fair consists in bathing before daybreak at the confluence of Sariu and Gomati. After bathing, an offering of water to Lord Shiva inside the Bhagnat temple is essential. Those who are more religiously disposed, continue this practice for three days in succession, which is known as Trimagi. According to Indian religious texts, on the day of Uttarayani also called Yuuti, Yuuti and Kaman, the sun enters the zodiacal sign of Makara, Capricorn, i.e. from this day onwards the sun becomes Uttarayan, or it starts moving to the north. It is said that from this day, which signals a change of season, the migratory birds start returning to the hills. On Makar Sankranti, people give kichadi, a mixture of pulses and rice, in charity, take ceremonial dips in holy rivers, participate in the Uttarayani fairs and celebrate the festival of Gyuutia or Kale Kauva. During the festival of Kale Kauva, literal translation, Black Crow. People make sweetmeats out of sweetened flour, flour and gur, deep fried in ghee, shake them in shapes such as drums, pomegranates, knives, and swords. These are fed to crows and other birds. Maharashtra In Maharashtra on Makar Sankranti, Makara Sankranti day people exchange multicolored halwa, sugar granules coated in sugar syrup, and tilgul ladu, sweetmeats made from sesame seeds and jaggery. Gulachi poli puran poli, gulachi poli purana poli flat bread stuffed with soft, shredded jaggery mixed with toasted, ground till, white sesame seeds, and some gram flour, which has been toasted to golden in pure ghee, are offered for lunch. While exchanging tilgul as tokens of goodwill people greet each other with the words. Tilagula gia ani goda goda bola tilgul ghyaa, ani god god bala. Meaning, accept this tilgul, sweet, and utter sweet words. The underlying thought in the exchange of tilgul is to forget the past ill feelings and hostilities and resolve to speak sweetly and remain friends. Odisha The festival is known as Makar Sankranti in Odisha where people prepare makar chawla, odia, makara kala uncooked newly harvested rice, banana, coconut, jaggery, sesame, rasagola, kai, liaa and china puddings for naivadya to gods and goddesses. The withdrawing winter entails a change in food habits and intake of nourishing and rich food. Therefore, this festival holds traditional cultural significance. It is astronomically important for devotees who worship the sun god at the great Konark temple with fervor and enthusiasm as the sun starts its annual swing northwards. According to various Indian calendars, the sun's movement changes and the days from this day onwards become lengthier and warmer and so the sun god is worshipped on this day as a great benefactor. Many individuals at the start of the day perform a ritual bath while fasting. Makar Mela fun fair is observed at Dabaleshwar in Kuttak, Hatakashwar at Atri in Korda, Makara Muni Temple in Balasore and near deities in each district of Odisha. In Puri special rituals are carried out at the temple of Lord Jagannath. In Mayurbhanj, Kayonar, Kalahandi, Koraput and Sundargar where the tribal population is greater, the festival is celebrated with great joy. They celebrate this festival with great enthusiasm, singing, dancing and generally having an enjoyable time. This Makara Sankranti celebration is next to the Odia traditional New Year Maha Vishuba Sankranti which falls in mid-April. 
Tribal groups celebrate with traditional dancing, eating their particular dishes sitting together, and by lighting bonfires. It is the only Indian festival celebrated on a fixed day of the Gregorian calendar. Besides the usual rituals, people of Orissa, especially Western Orissa, reaffirm the strength of the bond of friendship with their best friends during this occasion. The practice is called Makar Basma. After a man binds himself with one of his friends in the shackles of friendship during Makar Sankranti, afterwards he addresses the other as Maharshad, or Marsad. If two women tie the friendship lace on each other's wrist, they call each other Makara. They don't utter each other's name. This goes on for one full year till the next Makar Sankranti. In eastern Orissa, on many occasions, two friends feed each other Mahaprasad, the offering made in the famous Jagannath Temple of Puri, and continue the friendship for at least one year. Orissa Post talks to some women about their experiences when they tied the friendship knot on Makar Sankranti. Punjab In Punjab, Makar Sankranti is celebrated as Maggi which is a religious and cultural festival. Bathing in a river in the early hours on Maggi is important. Hindus light lamps with sesame oil as this is supposed to give prosperity and drive away all sins. A major mela is held at Sri Mutsar Sahib on Maggi which commemorates a historical event in Sikh history. Culturally, people dance their famous Bhangra. They then sit down and eat the sumptuous food that is specially prepared for the occasion. It is traditional to eat Kheer, rice cooked in milk and sugarcane juice. It is also traditional to consume Kichdi and Jaggery. December and January are the coldest months of the year in the Punjab. Maggi represents the change of the season to warmer temperatures and increase in daylight. Maggi fairs are held in many places. Rajasthan and Malwa, Western Madhya Pradesh. Makar Sankrati, or Sakrat, in the Rajasthani language is one of the major festivals in the state of Rajasthan. The day is celebrated with special Rajasthani delicacies and sweets such as fini, either with sweet milk or sugar syrup dipped, tilpati, gajak, kheer, gever, pakoti, puwa, and til ladu. Especially, the women of this region observe a ritual in which they give any type of object, related to household, makeup, or food, to 13 married women. The first Sankranti experienced by a married woman is of significance as she is invited by her parents and brothers to their houses with her husband for a big feast. People invite friends and relatives, especially their sisters and daughters, to their home for special festival meals, called as Sankrant Bhoj. People give out many kind of small gifts such as til gud, jaggery, fruits, dry kichadi, etc. to Brahmins or the needy ones. Kite flying is traditionally observed as a part of this festival. On this occasion the sky in Jaipur and Hadoti regions is filled with kites, and youngsters engage in contests trying to cut each other's strings. Tamil Nadu It is a four-day festival in Tamil Nadu. Day 1, Bogi Pandigai Poki Pandikai Day 2, Thai Pongal Thai Pongal Day 3, Matu Pongal Matup Pongal Day 4, Kanam Pongal, Kanum Pongal The festival is celebrated four days from the last day of the Tamil month Margazi to the third day of the Tamil month Thai. Boja The first day of festival is Bogi. It is celebrated on the last day of Margashi by throwing away and destroying old clothes and materials, by setting them on fire, marking the end of the old and the emergence of the new. In villages there will be a simple ceremony of Kapu Katu. Kapu means secure, will be done. The neem leaves are kept along the walls and roof of the houses. This is to eliminate evil forces. Thai Pongal The second day of festival is Thai Pongal or simply Pongal. It is the main day of the festival, falling on the first day of the Tamil month Thai which starts with the solar cycle when sun starts moving through the summer solstice. It is celebrated by boiling rice with fresh milk and jaggery in new pots, which are later topped with brown sugar, cashew nuts and raisins early in the morning and allowing it to boil over the vessel. This tradition gives Pongal its name. The moment the rice boils over and bubbles out of the vessel, the tradition is to shout, Pongalo Pongal Pongalo Pongal, 
and blow the sangu, a conch, a custom practice to announce it was going to be a year blessed with good tidings. Then new boiled rice is offered to the sun god during sunrise, as a prayer which symbolizes thanks to the sun for providing prosperity. It is later served to the people in the house for the ceremony. People prepare savories and sweets such as vadai, maruka, payasm and visit each other and exchange greetings. Matu Pongal The third day of festival is Matu Pongal. Matup. It is for offering thanks to cattle, as they help farmers in agriculture. On this day the cattle are decorated with paint, flowers and bells. They are allowed to roam free and fed sweet rice and sugar cane. Some people decorate the horns with gold or other metallic covers. In some places, Jalikatu, or Taming the Wild Bull Contest, is the main event of this day and this is mostly seen in the villages. Kanam Pongal Fourth day of the festival is Kanam Pongal, Kanum Pongal the word Kanam means to view. During this day people visit their relatives, friends to enjoy the festive season. It is a day to thank relatives and friends for their support in the harvest. It started as a farmer's festival, called as Yujavar Thirunal in Tamil. Kolam Kolam decorations are made in front of the house during Thai Pongal festival. Uttar Pradesh The festival is known as Kisheri in Uttar Pradesh and involves ritual bathing. Over 2 million people gather at their respective sacred places for this holy bathing such as Allahabad and Varanasi in Uttar Pradesh and Haridwar in Uttarakhand. If they cannot go in river then they bathe at home. There is a compulsion to bathe in the morning while fasting, first they bathe then they eat sweets such as til ladu and gud lado, known as tilava in Bhojpuri. At some places new clothes are worn on this day. Kite flying is an inevitable part of the festival in Uttar Pradesh, as with many states of India such as Gujarat and Maharashtra. Like other places in India, the references to sweets, till, sesame seeds, and gud, jaggery, are found in the songs sung on this day. Mead gur me mil gaya till, udi patang awar keel gay dil, jeevan me bani rehi suk awar shanti, mubarak ho apko makar sankranti. West Bengal in West Bengal, Sankranti, also known as Paush Sankranti named after the Bengali month in which it falls last date of that month, is celebrated as a harvest festival Paush Parban, Bengali, Paza Parbana it falls on 14 January on the Western calendar, the freshly harvested paddy and the date palm syrup in the form of Kejaragur, Bengali, Kejaragura and Patali, Bengali, Patali is used in the preparation of a variety of traditional Bengali sweets made with rice flour, coconut, milk and Kejaragur, date palm jaggery, and known as Pitha, Bengali. All sections of society participate in a three-day festival that begins on the day before Sankranti and ends on the day after. The goddess Lakshmi is usually worshipped on the day of Sankranti. In the Himalayan regions of Darjeeling, the festival is as known as Magi Sakrati. It is distinctly associated with the worship of Lord Shiva. Traditionally, people bathe at sunrise and then commence their puja. Elsewhere, many people take a dip in places like Ganga Sagar, the point where the river Ganges meets the Bay of Bengal. Ganga Sagar falls in West Bengal. In the day of Makar Sankranti Hindu god Dharma is worshipped. In Kitchar higher rice is offered to the god as Bhog. The day after Makar Sankranti the first day in the month Ma from Bengali calendar the goddess Laxmi Devi is worshipped. It is called Baharlaksmi Puja as the idol is worshipped in an open place. Outside India Bangladesh Shakrain is an annual celebration of winter in Bangladesh, observed with the flying of kites. Nepal May Sankranti, Nepali and Maithili, May Sankranti Nepal Basa, Gyakaku Sanlu is a Nepalese festival observed on 1 Ma in the Bikram Samwat Hindu Solar Nepali calendar, about 14 January, bringing an end to the ill-omened month of Paush when all religious ceremonies are forbidden. On this day, the sun is believed to leave its southernmost position and begin its northward journey. May Sankranti is observed by Nepalese Hindu by bathing at the confluence of rivers and praying to the sun. 
The popular bathing sites include Sankhamal on the Bogmati River near Patan, in the Gandaki, Narayani River Basin at Triveni near the Indian border, Devgat near Chitwan Valley and Riti on the Kaligandaki, and in the Koshi River Basin at Dolalghat on the Sun Koshi. On May Sankranti Cha Puja and on Bhadra Purnima, some Nepalis worship perform Nara Puja for the community's protection from evil. Festive foods like ladu, ghee and sweet potatoes are distributed to relatives and friends. The mother of each household wishes good health to all family members. Pakistan, Sindh On this festive day, Sindhi parents send ladus and chiki lae, made of sesame seeds to their married daughters. The Sindhi community in India too celebrate Makar Sankranti as Termori which involves parents sending sweet dishes to their daughters. Sri Lanka On this day, the Sri Lanka Tamil farmers honor the sun god Suryapakaran. This happens when the sun enters the zodiac sign of Capricorn, Makara. The Thai Pongal festival is celebrated in mid-January, or the Tamil month of Thai, to coincide with the rice harvest. See also Hindu festivals Uttarayana References External links <laughs>